Hey guys, how's it going? Today, I was really fortunate to manage to get my hands on the new RTX 3090. This is a version by ASUS and it's a Strix edition. In addition to that, it's an OC, which means it has a slightly better purity for its silicone structure. Anyway, to start off with, uh, here's the packaging, the front of the box. Uh, it has the same, it looks like it's the same uh, design as a, pretty much as the generations before. Uh, the back, just, just gonna show you up close. Some pretty neat information there. Uh, when it is on idle, I can confirm that the fans do come to a complete stop, so that's always a nice perk. Anyway, here's a side, here's a OC label. And then, uh, yeah, here's the other side. Also 24 gigabytes of video RAM. So that's pretty handy for doing uh, video rendering or anything in advance like that. So let's open it up. Just have to be really nice and gentle with this this outer shell here. It is pretty thin. Alright, so here's yeah, this is the outer shell. Again, pretty thin material. Just gonna put this gently to the side. Here's a here's a second layer, Strix logo, as well as Strix logo is right here. And on this side, it's gonna open it up. And yeah, here's the card inside. I'll get to that in a minute. I just want to show some of the accessories it came with. So right here is a, it appears to be a ruler. I think, I think this is just meant to be, uh, carry out, be as a carry-on item just for measuring stuff in your PC and whatnot. Pretty unique accessory, I have not seen that before. This looks like uh, just a strap. Underneath the card, just want to show quickly. Uh, here's a, again the ASUS logo, little mini box here. Inside this, we have it's like a, a card, holographic card for it to to show more about the card. Um, some instruction manual. A nice thank you letter from ASUS. Again, some more instructions, just how to install the card, how to, how to uh, put it into your case properly, etc. And here's just, just another logo to attach onto something. The most important part, here's the card itself. It's wrapped in anti-static packaging. Gonna undo this tape right here. Yeah, here's the card itself. It it does have a, a layer of film on it just to protect. Um, here's the fans. So there's three of these of these fans. Uh, they're. I'm under the. I think this one will be spinning in an opposite direction to these two. Uh, just because the blades are shaped different. It's nice, on the, also a nice perk of ASUS to include a protector for the PCI uh, slot right here. And uh, it for for power, it has a total of three 8-pin connectors. Uh, I believe uh, this can be, this adds up to a total of, it can uh, uh, draw up to 480 watts total. That's with the PCI connector and these these three slots combined. Here's a, a slot for the NVLink connector. Again, the, 30, the RTX 3090 is the only card for this generation which allows uh, SLI to be used. 
and and even then they're starting to phase it out in the new games coming out but if if someone requires that perk it is available with this card for this connector right here and keep in mind that this it, this will not be compatible with the current mv link bridges for the 2000 series you do have to buy a new modified version for for this uh, to allow for this connection just gonna put that back on and uh, right here there's a switch you can go from either uh, p mode or q mode so that's I think that's just to adjust the fan speeds and the, the amount of overclocking it does. Um, for the connectors, we have, uh, it appears to be two HDMI ports as well as three display ports. That's pretty nice because you can connect to four, five monitors simultaneously. And most of the other cards only do either three or four. And then on this side, we have uh, the logo right here, but underneath that shroud, Something I really like about this card is it, it does have some additional headers for fans right, located right here. And this, I, I, again, the reason why I really like this idea is because uh, you can have, uh, since the way this card cools, it, 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 uh, it circulates the air within the case. And you can, uh, you can uh, connect fans in the case that connect to these headers, which, which will help uh, blow out the hot air that's created by this card. And uh, again, that's much that's much better than the standard design because with most cases, uh, it's governed by the CPU temperature. But obviously, in gaming, the GPU temperature is more is uh, is more reactive to the to the demand of the game. So yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much the card. Anyway, guys, I appreciate it if you made it this far watching the video. I had a lot of fun unboxing it, and it was cool to see the new perks they included in the packaging. Um, so I'm really looking forward to the, in the future, doing some review videos as well as some testing of new games out there. Uh, stay tuned and feel free to watch in the future. Thanks again for watching. See you later.